girl freaks out. Hey there, Billy Boy George. Um, you know what's funny? I, I never liked him when I was in the uh, in the eighties. You know, I was too homophobic to like that guy. But uh, his fucking drummer's the shit on there. Do you really wanna hurt me? Love the fucking drums on that song. Um, anyways, not sure if you saw this yet. Some girl freaked out at a yogurt shop in Santa Monica because the couple behind her kissed each other. She starts saying that she was being sexually harassed by them doing so. It gets out of control. The funny thing is that she starts off acting like a hacky liberal, but then ends acting like a hacky conservative as she shifted through stages of emotion. Uh, the Phoenix video, tour video, looked great. Can't wait for San Jose. Um, yeah, I actually, I watched some of that. At first, I loved this woman because I hate people who fuck. I don't hate, I hate looking at people making out in public. It's fucking gross. It's fucking gross. Your tongues jam down each other's throats. You know, it's like, it, it, I, I don't want to look at, especially when I'm around food. I totally get what she's saying, but then she took it too far when she started saying that she was, uh, that she was being sexually harassed. What I did love, though, is I love how the extreme close-up when she's yelling into the camera, it reminded me of that movie Misery, you know, where that lady's like, you can't with the cocky doo do whatever the fuck she says. Was there anything more satisfying in a fucking movie when he finally got out of the bed and started slamming that bitch's head against the floor? Ugh. Just laying there, that powerless. Do you know in the book she actually cuts his feet off rather than breaking his goddamn ankles? Um, I got to be honest with you. I really think I could have sweet-talked my way out of that bed. I really would have. I would have acted like I wanted to fuck her, you know? I would have done that, right? I would have told her that I was never going to leave her. I would have built her fucking up until I started to be able to walk around, Right? And then I would actually, and once I could even, this is, how, this is how long of a slow play I would go with that woman. I would actually, I would, after I could walk, I would stay in a three-month relationship with her till she got so fucking comfortable, right? And then one day I'd be making my famous fucking scrambled eggs, take out a fucking skillet. <laughs> that would be it, man. I would, I would stay in a relationship with that woman until the fucking snow melted. You know, and I could shake off whatever thing I had to yeah, fucking or I could shake that off. I'm German Irish. I could fucking I could put that in a box and never think of it again. No pun intended. That's what I would have done. He fucked up. You know what I mean? He actually wrote the real fucking book. I guess I, that's because I know that she was out of her mind. But I swear to God, I would have fucking. I would have told her that I, I love what she did with her hair. All of that thing. The hardest thing would have been was not laughing the noises that she would have made during intersex. Intersex? Intercourse. <laughs> intersex. Um, anyways, I don't know what that says about me, but you know, I, that's, that's how I would have got out of it. I would have just gone totally like, oh, yeah, yeah this, you're beautiful. Oh, my God. This soup is fucking delicious. And I would have just talked to her and just find out what the exact fucking book she wanted me to write, and that's exactly what I would have written. Maybe I'd hit her with a typewriter, like some sort of symbolism. I don't know, but at the end of the day, you know, fucking some pig versus getting both of your fucking ankles broken. I mean, I, I don't think there's a, there's, there's really no trade off, right? Um, you probably wouldn't, she's such a fucking lunatic. She's probably like asexual. You probably don't even have to do that. You know, just laugh at her jokes. I think you would have been all right. Um, anyways, I just went on a tangent there. Sorry about that. Uh, here we go, girl. So, anyways, getting back to that, yeah, I, I don't like when uh, I don't like watching people make out. It's fucking gross to me. I hate it. And the two things I hate most in movies is when people are fucking making out, and 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 people when they're eating in a scene, and they're fucking making those fucking noises. There's nothing worse than watching an actor eat in a scene because most times they're not eating, so they have to overact eating. And everybody, I don't know what happens. They turn into fucking animals. They start eating with their mouths open. They start pointing at people with the bread. Um, that, and I, I hate love scenes in movies. You know what I mean? Like when they take it to the point where literally one actor is sucking on the other actor's titties. It's just like, I get it. They're going to have sex. Like, why do you got to take it to this level? Are you making a porno now? If I want to watch a porno. I'll just watch a fucking porno. 
Why can't you just have them walk in the bedroom and they close the door? I get it. They fucked. Like, who is that for? Take my breath away. They're always up against the wall. And it's fucking raining out or some shit. You know what I mean? Rather than they're getting used to each other. <laughs> Figuring out which lip to go for. Do you go for the top lip or the bottom lip? You know what I mean? What position do you like? Do you like to have your ass slapped or not? All that shit's out of the way. They just automatically start acting like they've been banging each other the whole summer. Little Red Corvette. Whatever fucking songs they play. What are some of the stupid... In the 80s, they always played that stupid saxophone. The saxophone got ruined in the 80s. It went from this, like... It, it went literally from this instrument that when it was in the hands of a black person, it actually scared the CIA to the 80s where it just meant that Tom Cruise was going to fuck somebody. <laughs> You know, half of those jazz guys in the fucking from the 40s, 50s and 60s, they had their fucking phones bugged by the goddamn J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI. And then just it just somehow it just all went to shit in the 70s. It all went to shit in the fucking 70s. You know, they whacked everybody that they needed to whack in the 60s. They figured out how not to lose public support of a war after the debacle of Vietnam. Right. So now they got everybody. Everybody's going, well, I support troops. I support troops. I support troops. I support. Everybody's going to say they support. Who, who doesn't support the troops? They're on our team. But the brilliance is they've now morphed that into you cannot criticize the war. If you do or anything that the, 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 the Pentagon is doing, because now you're criticizing some 18 year old who's over there fighting for your freedom. It's fucking brilliant. And we should have seen this coming with what happened to the saxophone in the 80s.